Okay, so today I want to talk about the short snouted elephant shrew. Um, you can disregard this right here. This is just from a study abroad trip through Auburn University. But um, so today we're going to talk about Elephantulus brachyricus. I hope I said that right. So this is the taxonomy of this organism or this uh, little shrew here. Um, if you would like to pause the video and take a look at it, you're more than welcome to. So distinguishing characteristics. So short snouted elephant shrews have an average length of 42 centimeters from head to toe. They have a brown body with fur with white rings around the eyes and upper lip. The small size of the short snouted elephant shrew makes it vulnerable to animals such as birds and snakes. And also the shrew has uh, soft fur and lack hair on the soles and, and their hind feet. And their mass is relatively small, uh, 40 to 60 grams. So cooler characteristics as I describe here. So the elephant shrews can produce an acoustic sound or signal by tapping their hind feet. This is called foot drumming and is often a response to a stressful situation such as encounters with the predator or associated with mating. Each species has its own signaling of or um, of foot drumming. Population locations. So if you look at here, they're um, mainly found in Sub-Saharan Africa. So shrews are limited to Africa, occupying areas of the Sahara, uh, from Kenya and southern uh, Zaire to Transvaal, I hope I said that right as well, and northern eastern Nam 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 Namibia. Getting tongue time today. So life history in abundance. Lifespan of the short snout elephant shrew is unquantifiable at this moment, and uh, but one specimen lived for about four years in captivity and also solitarity, um, but sometimes can be seen in pairs. Ecology, so the habitat, um, they are found in arid and sem semi-arid environments. They prefer wooded um, bushlands and densely covered areas, such as dense grasslands and scrub. Also their diet is gonna be, um, they are opportunistic feeders and eat fruits, nuts, and seeds, but are also insect insectivores eating termites and ants. ecology continued their behavior they are mostly active during dawn uh, they avoid air areas with no cover such as open plains with no trees or large shrubbery um, also elephant trees sometimes dig their own burrow but often occupy rodent burrows and they are very very territorial reproduction um, lasts around a uh, last year round but decreases during cooler seasons and the gestation period is 60 days and young are born with hair with their eyes open. And on average, there are two per litter. So diseases and parasites, not known, um, not much is known um, as possible diseases and parasites, except uh, ectoparasites such as fleas. Um, and in turn, these fleas carried a wide range of diseases such as typhus and um, um, other type of organisms. Um, related to fleas. Although this animal isn't known for this particular pathogen pathogenicity, it is still very plausible. So conservation threats and status, there are no immediate threats to the short snouted elephant shrew. Although this species is not in abundance, um, it is widespread in suitable habitats across sub-Saharan Africa. They inhibit inhibit, sorry, they inhabit areas that are not suitable for human development, which helps with their survival. The only immediate threat is wildfires due to drought and abiotic factors. The IUCN placed Elephantulus brachyoricus on the least concerned list. Here is my lecture cited, and uh, sorry to keep the video short, but I just wanted to get that out there and hope you guys learned something, and I hope you'll have a great day.